Please be seated. Back on the record, 19 CR 586 A and B, State of Ohio versus Daniel Groves and State of Ohio versus Jessica Groves. We were beginning the cross-examination of the defendant Jessica Groves in this matter. Ms. Hutchinson, you may inquire of the witness. Tell the jury how you caused that complete upper arm fracture. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I don't. You remember the day those, you said the injuries were caused on the 27th, and he died on the 28th, so you remember all that detail, but you don't remember how you caused that upper arm fracture? No, I don't. Tell the jury why you wrote on your calendar on April 24th, worst day ever when Daniel was taken, but there was no entry about the worst day ever when you killed that baby. I didn't kill my baby. It you was didn't? It an accident. How did you cause those injuries? I don't remember. Then how do you remember it was an accident? Because I would never hurt my children intentionally. Never. How did you cause those injuries? I don't remember. I done told you that. And the worst day ever, the day that I lost my last child. Both of my children. Look at this photograph, Jessica Gross. How do you not remember that? Tell the jury how it's possible that you would not remember doing that, if in fact you did it. Ma'am, tell the jury how you would not remember that. Because my mind wasn't clear. Why? Because of drugs. Are you telling this jury that all of these injuries occurred at one time, <coughs> in one incident? No. How many times did you attack Baby Dylan? I never attacked him. Then how many accidents did you have, Jessica Groves? I don't remember. Tell him what the accidents were. You keep asking me the same questions and because you never you're get not the answering same the answers. question, ma'am. I told you I don't remember. When was it that your husband realized you were pregnant? Wait a minute. When was it you realized you were pregnant? Probably when I was about five and a half months. Which was when? What month? October. When was it your husband knew you were pregnant? Toward the end of October, beginning of November. How is it your husband didn't know you were <coughs> doped up the whole time you were pregnant? Because I kept it a secret. Why did you tell your why did you guys tell your son that a dream catcher hurt that baby? Because it did. Tell the jury about that. You said you didn't remember. <coughs> tell the jury what you what happened with that dream catcher. I didn't think that dream catcher had injuries to that extent. So that accident didn't cause his death. No. Tell him what accident did. I don't remember. Why didn't you tell Jody Conkle there were all these accidents that killed my baby? Because I was scared. Of what? Everything. 
What's everything? You were scared of what? Of admitting the truth. Well, tell the jury what the truth is. I you didn't tell Detective Conkle what the truth was. You didn't tell your son what the truth was. Tell this jury what the truth is. I don't remember it all. Why didn't you tell your sister Stacy Hall what the truth was? You told her this had nothing to do with drugs. I swear, nothing, Stacy. I would tell you. Me and Stacy did not grow up together. Me and Stacy has not had a lot of communication over my four years. Ma'am, why didn't you tell Stacy the truth? That's the question. Why would I? Why wouldn't you? I've never had any family support over my 40 my years. Question, why didn't you tell Stacy the truth? Why would I? Don't ask me questions. Me and her is not question. that close. She is a half sister okay. that we have never had that close relationship. So, but, so you lied to her? Yes, I did. And you lied to your son? Yes, I did. And you lied to Detective Conkle? Yes, I did. But you want this jury to believe you just don't remember and you're not lying to them. Look at these ladies and gentlemen and tell them. <laughs> I can't tell you something that I can't remember. Who and wrapped this never... baby's body in six layers of plastic and duct tape? Who did that? I did. You did. Daniel Groves didn't help you with that? <laughs> Yes, he did. Tell him what happened. Tell him about that concealment. I wanted to be able to go back and get my baby. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm not asking you for comments. Tell the jury about the day you wrapped that baby in plastic. Tell them what happened. I don't quite remember it all. You don't remember that either. I know it happened. I remember bits and pieces, but no, I don't remember. Because when he died, part of me died. And I've just been on autopilot. Man, look at this picture. I don't. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Look at this Outside, I guess. You guess. No, I'm asking you for real. Where'd you get all this stuff? I sure didn't get it out from under the kitchen sink. Are you going to answer the question? Outside. <clears throat> you don't remember this chain, those six layers of plastic and duct tape? Three padlocks, 12 zip ties, eight wire ties, 18 rocks. You don't remember that? Not in detail, no I don't. That's not a whole heck of a lot of planning? No. Why would you do that if you didn't murder this baby on purpose? Because I was scared. Scared of what? Losing everything. Now why are you here telling this jury the story today? She needs to allow her time to answer the question. She's not answering the question. She hasn't done the whole time. Overrule. Just let you make sure you don't talk over each other. Yes, Sean. Ask your next question. I want you to explain to the jury this process up here. I can't. Why? Because I don't recall. Who drove baby Dylan out to that well? We both did. Tell the jury how that happened and what you did. We took him out to the well. How'd you get there? On the four-wheeler. And then what? We put him in the well. Then we sit in the field and cried.
Why is it that when we watch this video of you and your husband at the sheriff's office, there's not all this crying? I'm, I'm so worried about the dogs. Is that what you said? I was in shock. I've been in shock. I've never got a chance to grieve the death of my baby. Judge, I have additional questions, but I'm not going to ask them. Ms. Hutchinson, Mr. Stratton, any redirect? Just like Jessica, everything you're saying today is the truth. Yes. You're finally coming clean, correct? Yes, I am. Nature of the objection. He's leading the witness again. Rephrase your question, Mr. Is there anything that the prosecutor has said you did not do? I did not kill my baby intentionally. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Stratton. Ms. Scott, any cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor, a few questions. Ms. Groves, I know that you're claiming that you don't remember a lot of the details um, in this situation. However, do you recall whether or not Daniel Groves participated in the actions that caused da Dylan's death? No, he did not. Okay. Um, did he in any way cause Dylan's death? No. Did the dream catcher falling on the baby Cause some bruising on Dylan's head? Slightly. Okay. Is that what we heard Daniel Jr. testify to yesterday? Yes. Was there a laceration as a result of that bruising? No. Did that result in his death in any way? No. Originally, you were scared of admitting the truth, correct? Yes. You're admitting to that truth during the course of this trial? Yes, I am. And the truth includes that Daniel Groves did not participate in Dylan's death, correct? Correct. You lied to many people in this case, correct? Yes, I have. Ms. Hutchinson asked you if you lied to your sister. You did? Yes. Mr. Ms. Hutchinson asked if you lied to your son. You did? Yes. Did you also lie to your husband? Yes. You're trying to set the record straight through this trial, correct? <laughs> yes, I am. The only part that Dylan, or I'm sorry, the only part that Daniel Groves participated in was helping you to dispose of Dylan's body and place his body in the well after he was deceased, correct? Yep. He was not aware of any of your actions that caused baby Dylan to pass away, correct? No, he was not. Did he help you hide those actions? Yes but only by disposing of the body after Dylan had already passed away, correct? Yes.
You both took great care to wrap his body in plastic? Yes, we did. And that was for the purpose of maybe retrieving his body at a later time, correct? Yes. Did Daniel in any way, or Daniel did not in any way, know of any of your activity that caused a skull fracture that had healed on a prior occasion, did he? No, he did not. When that injury occurred, there was no outward signs of a cut, was there? No, there was not. In regards to the rib fractures that he received that we heard about that were healing, were there any outward signs that Daniel would have been aware of to show that that injury had happened? No, there was not. Okay. And it is correct that baby Dylan passed away on March the 28th. Correct. You and you alone were the one that caused the death of the baby Dylan. Yes, I was. There was nothing that Daniel did that caused his death, correct? Correct. There was nothing that he did that hid your actions other than helping you to assist him or assist you in hiding the baby after he had passed away, correct? Correct. Thank you. I have no further questions at this time. Thank you, Ms. Scott. Any recross by the state? Yes, Your Honor. Explain that to him because because what I don't know. You don't know. You seem to know a lot of answers to Miss Scott's question. Answer the question to the jury. How did your 15-year-old son see these injuries, know about them, but your husband didn't? Miss Rose. I don't know. Ma'am, you may step down. Have a seat at the council table. Mr. Stratton, you may call your next witness. Your Honor, at this time, the defense rests. Defendant Jessica Groves has rested their presentation of evidence. Ms. Scott, are you ready to proceed with your presentation? I am, Your Honor. You may call your first witness. Your Honor, at this time, I would call Daniel Groves to the stand. 